Okay, so I try to do this for each event uh, 30 days out, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down through the rules list uh, for Operation Iron Shield, which is in 30 days from today. Uh, it's on September 2nd. It's uh, a game. It's 12 hours long. It's from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday, the 2nd. Uh, it's at Skirmish Paintball Park in Old Brightsville. If you're not familiar with that, it's uh, up near um, the Poconos. Um, it's a super awesome field, you guys. We changed the map up a little bit, moved some of the um, objectives around and things like that um, in comparison to our first game up there. So I think it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. It's going to be a little bit easier to get after the objectives. Um, there's not going to be as much like gatekeeping in some of the areas. Um, so I think it's going to be a pretty good game, you guys. I really do. I think everyone's going to going to enjoy it. And, um, you know, that's the, that's the best that, you know, we try to do, just make a good, fun game. So let me go down through these, you guys. Um, I was like putting my elbow on the desk, but I'm looking at, the, the, you know, looking at the screen you guys see, and it's real, I'm real up in there. Okay, let's just not do that. So here we are. Uh, this is our website, www.nomadmiddleson.com. You can get here on the... Um, Website homepage, just click on this, uh, Operation Iron Shield. It'll bring you to this page. Here you're going to select your team. So you can go U.S. Special Forces, which is black camo only. There's only 25 slots available for that team. It's mostly full. Um, and then you got three platoons of Communist Forces Green and three platoons of uh, U.S. Forces Tan. Uh, so you just select which platoon you want. Same thing as we always have done, you guys. If you want to do tent, tent camping, select it so this is all optional here uh that's ten dollars if you want patches um you know they're 550 each just select them here which ones you want and if you want a dead rag uh, these dead rags have the map on them they are updated from last event again like i said the spawns have moved a little bit and some of the objectives have moved so the map that we used for sun and thunder is not going to be the same map for um iron shield okay and then you would just hit a 10 fill it out Sign up for the game um, and pay, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to go down and read all this stuff. You guys most certainly can do that on the website, um, but we are going to go ahead and get into the rules. As always, again, these videos are usually around 30 minutes. I know you guys don't love that, but um, it's necessary. So if you guys watch this, it's going to give you get a, a good impression of the game. So again, I'm not going to read the overview or the gameplay. You guys can read that on your own. So event schedule, if you can do pre-chrono and pre-safety brief on Friday, so you guys can start arriving uh, by 4.30. We're going to open up registration and um, chrono at 5. That's going to run until 8. At 8 o'clock, we'll do a safety brief. Um, at 8.30, the field is going to be closed. If you're camping, that's totally fine. You guys will be in the camping area. I will show you that on the map. Saturday, 7 a.m., registration, chrono open. By 9.15 a.m., chrono and registration are going to close. Directly following that will be safety brief. If you were at the previous event, there is a uh, stage there, so form up at that stage. Um, once we do the safety brief, I'll break you guys out for about 10 minutes to get the rest of your gear. You'll come back to the stage, and we'll head out, and the game will start at 10. The game will run until 10, um, and then we'll have the uh, game raffle directly after game end. So where that pavilion's at, if you were there last time, um, you're, we're just going to go right back to that pavilion. We'll do the raffle, um, and that'll close out the event. So objectives, there's going to be five objective flags out there, a green and a tan, which is technically an orange flag. Capture that objective, put your color team's flag in the stakeholder. Green team, or green flag is green team, of course, and the orange flag is tan team. Um the Black Camo Special Forces, you guys are technically considered tan. You are Special Forces on tan, so you would be going after the orange flag. Uh, every hour, points will get added up. Um, there's going to be ammo cans out on the field. If you've been to any of our other events, you know that we put goodies in these ammo cans, so there's going to be pistols and speed loaders and Xbox and gift cards and all sorts of different things inside these ammo cans, so they're worth points, so it sincerely helps out your team, and they've got goodies inside of them, so you're going to want to find them. So green team, you're looking for red ammo cans. Tan team, you're looking for teal ammo cans, and then there's also five green ammo cans that'll be out there so that equals out to be a total of uh 14 ammo cans out on the field 
Uh, so yeah, this just explains where the ammo cans are. Again, if you guys want to read this thing word for word, please do that. Um, it'll definitely help you guys out. I'm just going to go over the gist of it. So you got your two teams. Green is Inferno. Um, NATO is Detour, I believe it's pronounced. If you don't know what that is, that's the thing you use to put out a flame. Um, so nice little play there. Inferno, the thing that puts out flames. Seemed like a smart idea. Hope you guys like the team names for this event and enjoy the logos that we have created. Um, so green team, standard green camos, you guys. Again, I want them to read each individual one. You guys can definitely check this out um, for yourself. Same thing here with Tan. Um, if you've never been to a Milsim before, uh, reach out to us. If you have been to Milsims before, this kind of stuff is usually pretty self-explanatory. Do not wear black camo on either team unless you are on the special forces for Tan. Um, that'll just be for them. Uh, these are going to be our general rules here. Again, I will not read these word for word, um, but basically everyone's required to attend a safety brief. You're all required to fill out a waiver. A waiver. You have to fill out our waiver and you have to fill out Skirmish's waiver. They're both attached here and I will also have both. You need to sign both. A lot of people get confused and think it's one or the other. It's both. Uh, everyone has to chrono. You have to be 13 years of age or older to play in the event and you must have a parent or guardian signature that's 18 years of age or older on Signing your waiver as well. Um, that's if you're under 18, excuse me, and you have to be at least 13. Uh, safety word, blind man, cease fire. Uh, in the safe zone, which basically just means if you're not on the playing field or in the chrono area, you need to have your magazines out, safeties on, and your barrel bag on. No binary triggers, no riot shields. Red deadlight and flashlight are, are required for the nighttime portion, so make sure you have both of those. I get a lot of questions about flashlights. I don't care if it's mounted on your replica, in your hand, mount, it's on your helmet. I don't care where it's at. And I'm not saying it has to be on while you're out there, but you need to have a working light source um, on your person at all times while you're on the field once it gets dark. Um, iPro guys, of course, has to be ANSI rated. It needs to be fully sealed. If you don't meet those requirements, you're not going to be allowed to wear them. And don't take your goggles off on the field. Um, your mandatory equipment, you guys, I won't doubt, read down through all this. The biggest thing I'll say from this is going to be the red dead light, the flashlight, and the two tourniquets. So you need to provide those things. You need to provide your own tourniquets. We will have ace white medical bandages for sale, uh, but make sure you guys bring the appropriate equipment. We've spelled, spelled it all out here for you, so make sure you guys have all that. Uh, player conduct, pretty solid scoring territory here, guys. No verbal abuse, no name calling. Don't cuss somebody out. Don't get in a fist fight. Don't vandalize, steal anything. Don't bring drugs and alcohol out there. Don't blind fire. Don't argue with staff. I mean, pretty standard stuff. Um, there's no bang bang rule, so you can engage um, as close as you know, as close as possible, basically as close as you need to, um, as long as you're following your med for your particular class. We'll talk about that in a second. No off road vehicles are allowed on the property. Uh, no radio warfare. There are radio channels already preset for each platoon. They're on our Discord. If you want to join in on the Discord and check that out, scroll all the way down to the bottom of this website. I'll show you guys at the end. You can join our Discord. Okay, so if you're running SMG, it needs to be an actual SMG replica. Do not tell me your M4. Taking M4 mags is an SMG. It's not. This needs to be like an MP5, an MP7, an ARP9, something that is actually considered an SMG. You have to be shooting at one joule with our 0.32 BBs, um, and you're allowed uh, full auto, right? Yeah, full auto allowed up to 25 rounds per second um, and mid-cap magazine only. And I will say really quick, you guys, there's confusion every single event we've had so far. You're chronoing with our 0.32 BBs. I'm providing the BBs for you to chrono with. After you chrono, you can use whatever you want as long as they're bio BBs. I don't care if you want to use 0.2s, 0.4s, 0.36s, 0.3s. I don't care. But when you come up to chrono, you're going to chrono with our Elite Force 0.32 BBs. Okay. Uh, if you're going to run riflemen, which for you know your M4 or your AK guys, um, it's mid cap only, semi auto only, and you're allowed up to 1.55 joules. Support weapons. Um, this is going to be an actual support weapon. So again, don't show up there with your M4 with a drum mag and tell me that that's an LMG because it's not. Uh, this needs to be an actual support weapon. You're allowed 1.86 joules, full auto and up to 30 rounds a second. But 
you have a minimum engagement distance of 50 feet, okay? Uh, DMR, semi-auto only, 2.03 joules, 100-foot med, uh, mid-caps. Sniper rifles is going to be bolt action or single shot only, so no semi-auto or anything like that. You're allowed 2.5 joules and 100-foot minimum engagement distance. If you are running sniper or DMR that have the higher med, 100-foot, please make sure you're bringing a pistol, a sidearm, a secondary replica out there with you. Um, because there's some definitely going to be some spots with buildings and uh, different things there that you might get into pretty close uh, quarters. Uh, so make sure you have something other than your sniper or DMR. Uh, of course, no binary triggers. Uh, the magazines already spoke of BBs, biodegradable BBs only. Will you, we will be vending on site like um, the other two events that we've done this year. We will have uh, cases. I mean, we're going to have full cases of BBs. So if you guys do need any, uh, please let me know. Uh, or pit buy them at the event. If you do want to pre-order just a couple bottles or a whole case of BBs, please get those orders in by August 15th. Um, grenades. Uh, so basically, I'm not going to read down through every single thing here. Um, tag ins and all that stuff is allowed as long as you have the P-top cert. The EG67s are, of course, allowed as long as you have the P-top cert. Um, the only smoke allowed is going to be battle game sports smoke. I don't want to see an all day grenades uh, or an all day smoke grenades out there. Um, and then the rules on that is grenades at a 15 foot kill radius. Um, outside, if it lands within 15 feet of you and blows up, you're dead unless you're behind hard cover. Um, and then inside, if you're inside of a structure, it's a 30 by 30 space, unless you're behind hard cover. Uh, the basically, you guys, the way I look at this is people are spending a lot of money on pyro. And you, if you're questioning if you got blown up or not, you probably did. So you should just call it, go back to spawn, whatever, get medics, get back to the game. Um, battle and smoke is allowed. Hit rules. Um, basically, if you get hit anywhere on your body, you're hit. Um, gun hits and ricochets do not count. If you're hit, yell hit loud enough during the daytime, pull a dead rag at night, turn on your red dead light. Dead men tell no tales, don't say anything once you're hit other than medic. Um, every player is a medic. Um, basically, you have three lives. You got your two tourniquets, so you hit hit the first time, you put on a tourniquet, hit the second time, put on a tourniquet, hit, hit the third time, that's your third life, go back to spawn. Um, but you can be medic by anybody, you just cannot medic yourself, okay? You cannot medic yourself, you have to be medic by somebody else. Uh, bleed out rules, if you've been sitting there for five minutes, take the walk back to spawn. Uh, remove your turner kids to back in the game. Uh, respawn dead zone. Your guys' respawns will be clearly marked by your team's flag. Um, if you haven't checked those flags out, you guys see it on our Facebook, see it on our Instagram. I posted the flags up. It's got your symbol on it. They turned out really, really good. Um, I think you guys are going to like them. So those are going to mark your guys' respawn areas. Uh, so if you need to respond, that's where you'll go. The, the play area, so Skirmish is kind of interesting with their play area because they have several different fields that we're playing on. Technically, they're just going to be combined into one. Um, so when you're at the pavilion looking out onto the field, there is a row of posts like running like this way in front of you. Imagine that as being a line and then follow the posts around, kind of like loops around, and then it'll go back on the edge. So when we look at the map, I'll explain that better. Um, but if you've never played there, don't get confused by it. It'll be okay. It's nothing crazy. Um, I will explain it better once we get down here to the map. Um, do not cross out of bounds areas. Don't climb ladders. Go on roofs. Don't enter anything that's taped off. <sighs> don't move objectives. Do not leave trash on the field. Do not bring any unauthorized gear on the field. Uh, if you have any questions, ask. Anytime you get caught cheating, so this is like wearing the wrong team camo, not calling your hits, um, you know, disregarding your med, and anything that you're cheating that would be cheating in the grounds, uh, grounds for cheating in this rulebook, um, you'll yeah, each time I see it, you'll get docked 200 points. Um, so let's get into the map here. So these are smaller ones. This is the big one. Okay. So when you come in, you're going to come down this road right here. Okay. When you pull in, there's a parking lot right here. I don't want you guys in the parking lot. Okay. There was confusion last time on that. Don't park in the parking lot. You're going to come up here in the grass. It's literally a grassy area. You're not doing anything wrong. Pull up into the grass. And pull all the way up in here until you're in line with this pavilion, okay? You're going to see a little tiny uh, bathroom house. Go past that. This is the bathroom. Go past that, and you're going to park right in here, okay? And then you'll trickle back from there. This is the bathroom. This is where we're going to be set up for check-in. If you've been there before, you know where I'm talking about. There's the pavilion right here. You're going to park right in here. 
camping is going to be over here. So where this dead area of green grass is, this is all grass here. You guys can camp right there. You'll be perfectly fine there. You're going to park here, okay? Um, Check-in will be here. This is where you're going to come in and get registration done. We'll also will be vending out of this building. Um, and Chrono, if you were here last time, as you come right out of this pavilion, come straight across, right here will be Chrono. You'll be shooting this direction out here into the woods. Um, so Chrono will be right there. So this red outline is the perimeter of the map, okay? So these posts that I was talking about are running this red line. The posts run this direction, and they cut over here into the woods. So if you're on tan or detour, you'll be back here. And if you're on green or inferno, your spawn will be over here. So tan, you will be closest to the cars and camping. And green, you'll have a farther walk. You guys are flip-flop, so last event here, we had green up here and tan down here. We just swapped that. Um, so these are all the different um, maps that are going to be con combined together for this game. So this overall acreage here, you guys, is probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 acres. It's a decent-sized place. Um, so these little bullseyes are going to be your guys' objectives. So last time we kind of had them, you know, like more here, like out here in this open area. I pushed them back into the woods. Um, there is lots of structure out in here, like two-story buildings if you get in this back corner. Um, so I definitely want you guys to be able to get back in there. So basically this far stream, if you're if you're back in here and you're like, I don't know if I've gone too far, there is a stream of water back here. As long as you haven't crossed over the stream, you're good. That's the boundary. If you haven't hit the stream over here on this side, you're fine. And that stream runs from all the way over here. It runs around and then it cuts back this way. Um, so basically on this far edge, if you haven't hit the stream, you're good. On this far edge, there is a farmer's field here um, that kind of starts like right in this general area. Um, I think the trees on this protrude a little bit too much, but it kind of starts right in here where this objective is at and then cuts back this way. So don't go into the farmer's field, um, but that'll be that hard boundary over there. So you can check out your objectives. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope that answers all the questions. Of course, uh, reach out to me via social media or via email. Um, if you do have questions, you can call me as well. I'll answer your questions. Um, I don't want there to be any confusion. I know last time there was some confusion um, with the boundaries. So if you are um, confused or you're not sure about something, just reach out so I can explain it hopefully better um, for you to understand. Um, and if not, you know, I, I hope this video did help for a lot of people to understand that. Uh, so just check the map for the parking, camping, check in, all that. I tried to label everything a lot better this time. You know, last last map, I didn't label the no parking, parking, check in, crown. Um, so I, I, you know, that's my on me um, as being my first event, a, a new promoter. So I tried to up the game a little bit with this map um, and make it a little bit uh, more intuitive and informational for you. Um, and this is the map that will be on the dead rag. So if you order one of the dead rags for $6, this, this one side is just the normal dead rag. On the other side is going to be this map. So it knocks out two things. One, you get the dead rag, which you have to have for daytime play. And two, you get the map. Um, and then I'd say six bucks. It's not crazy expensive. Um, but that's basically it. So if you scroll down, um, there's that event map again. If you just want to print it, there's our waiver. Skirmishes waiver. Again, you have to fill out both. It's not one or the other. It's both. Um and then here, if you want to join our Discord, just click this uh, image, and that'll take you to our Discord. So, um, hey, there's me. And that's Caleb Tucker Airsoft. If you guys don't know who that is, uh, he's a pretty popular airsofter, uh, and he's been growing his stuff. Check him out. Caleb Tucker Airsoft, super nice guy. Um, but, yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing everybody out there. Um, thank you if you've watched this. If you made it the whole way through, thank you. Um, I try to keep it a little more brief. Again, I didn't read every word for word. You should try to read this word for word um, just so you know more of what's going on. I get it. Life's busy. Um, you know, things happen. But try to read it. And if you are confused, reach out. So uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this. And we will see you at the event.